Hey everybody, so today I want to talk about some reverse culture shock and cultural differences that I've come about when, while being in America after living in Japan for three years. The first thing, I arrived in San Francisco and I was standing in line going through security and I'm thinking, my god, I'm short. In Japan, I'm massive. I'm tall compared to everyone else. I'm like probably this much taller than all the girls around me and I'm about like guy height a little shorter than guy height so I come here and there's just these towering people it's kind of a nice feeling to be honest with you another thing was all the cultural diversity in America um, you forget about it you do you come back I came back and there was you know people and I, I know I was in an airport so there's obviously more cultural diversity than a normal place, but still, it's shocking to see all the different people from different countries in America, and it's that's nice too in a lot of ways. Um, in Japan, you do see other people, but it's not at all like America. It's mostly Japanese people. I live in Michigan, so I'm sure the cultural differences between Michigan and Japan are different than, say, California and Japan, but in Michigan, everything is wide open, beautiful nature. A lot less structured than Japan in the way that we live our lives. Uh, I feel like work schedule and play schedule is a lot looser. You have more time to play in America, that's how I feel. Maybe it's because my parents are artists so they kind of plan their own work schedule but it's definitely nothing like rigid Japanese schedule where you know you work six days a week, lots of hours, maybe overtime, and then your play is, you know, restricted to those um, days off work. Um, another thing that was really shocking to me was, um, okay, I live in the country, so it's probably way worse here than in other places, but you go to Walmart and people are larger. And you see that people have lots of junk food in their shopping carts. So, like, there was this one woman that I saw who is probably a little older than me, a very heavy woman, and she had frozen waffles, giant boxes of frozen waffles, frozen pizzas, chips, soda, a whole shopping cart underneath was full of like Mountain Dew. That's a little sad, but maybe it's because they don't have enough money to afford fresh produce or it's just part of our culture, convenience, being fast and preparing fast meals and working, using that other time to work and spend with your family. Whereas I feel in Japan, it, they put much more importance on fresh produce, fresh fresh fish, per, like making a homemade meal to show your love for your family. Whereas I feel in America, the meal is quick, or maybe it, maybe it is homemade, but it's, you know, get it done pretty quick, and then you spend that time with your family, and that's how you, um, that's more important than the actual meal. That's how I that's how I feel at least. I'm sure it's different depending on the family, but also I'd say lifestyle conservation. Like we have so much space here. Like my house is huge as you can see. My parents' house. And so obviously we have more room for stuff. We have a whole basement where we can just put all of our stuff that we don't need, you know, Christmas decorations or whatnot. So we can buy stuff, and I feel like that's part of our culture, is wanting to buy stuff for not only ourselves, but for other people. Um, like, I went to a baby shower, and so many gifts, whereas they don't have that in Japan. There's no baby shower. Maybe you would give someone money as a OEY, or a uh, celebratory money for them. But it's not the same. Like, here I feel like you, you go somewhere and buy something that's just kind of part of our culture. Um, at my family is that way, like, they just, everyone wants to keep giving things to Ellie. Um, and people are like that in Japan, but not so much. Like, you have to think, can I fit this in my apartment? Am I, where am I going to put this? Obviously, you have to really conserve a lot more than you do here when you have such a big house compared to a little tiny apartment. In Michigan, the outdoors, the Great Lakes, is all such a part of people's lives. Like in the summertime, let's go to Lake Michigan, let's go swimming, let's go boating, let's go tubing. Um, whereas like my husband does has never smelled the smell of a skunk. I have, that's like part of my childhood. I feel like every kid knows what a skunk smells like. 
And I'm sure that it's also because he's kind of a city boy. I mean, we're from Osaka, we're not from the country of Japan. But um, outdoors does not play a role in our life like it does here. That's a really big cultural difference. Um, like, I feel like there are activities planned for outside, like hanami, um, flower viewing. And you go outside, you get together with your friends, you have like a little grill, like this big you know, with um, veggies and meat on it and you're grilling away. And you spend on, it's the same kind of feeling like a barbecue here, but it's just not the same. It's, it's like, it's structured. This is the holiday for going outside and doing this. And there's people, lots of outdoors and people in Japan that like camping and fishing and doing everything we do here. But just, Maybe it's not so much Japan and America, but for me moving from small town to big city, it's like I don't get enough outdoor in Japan. So that's just a small list of things, and there's plenty more, and I'll keep thinking and letting you guys know what other cultural differences I've, I've noticed. Um, anyway, I'm going to upload another video of our trip in America, so keep watching. Bye.